here to five. It's time to get it. Let's get it. Super Bowl season. Baby, training camp 2021. Let's get it. With what we've built here, from Ryan bringing in these the, the type of players that we have, whether it's physically or mentally, bringing this group together, building this culture, I think we're in a really good place right now to handle a lot of different things, success and failure. As players descend on Hallis Hall for the start of training camp, Head coach Matt Nagy sets the tone for the season. Messaging is vital in the first team meeting for 2021. Can you guys hear me okay? A little bit better? Decent? Okay. I think sometimes when you get started on day one, it always just brings you back in as to from OTAs to the summer, we get away, we come back, and now you realize it's day one for really 32 teams across the league right now. Today's day one, and we all get a fresh start. And Remember when we left the OTAs, I talked about why me? W what is it for you? Why, why do you do it for you? Why? What's the why, right? Well, the same with the organization. You got to start by knowing from the top of where this thing started. The beauty of our franchise and the beauty of this team and this family and this organization is, is right here with Mrs. Virginia McCaskey, okay? Now, this is going into my fourth year as head coach, so every year I keep adding to her age. She's 98 years young right now, fellas. 98 years young, and she's sharp as a tack. No one cares about this team and this organization more than her, and she's our biggest fan every single day that we play on those Sundays. Travel. So this year we're going back to the, the, the old school, the business casual. You don't need to wear a suit, jacket, or tie, but Allowed is in the blue. Collared shirts, polo shirts, dress jeans, yes. Khakis, slacks, dress sneakers, yes. Are we good here? Is there any no-nos? Are everything clean? Huh? What's going on in the back there with juice? All right, one, hit the next one. Huh? He's got like the iPhone 15 in his left pocket. Good, strong. Okay, next. Row, that's clean right there, dude. That's simple. This simple. Okay, so those are just some examples. I'm ending it with this. I know everybody's seen it, but for everybody that has, this is important, and I think we got to, I think we should all take something from this for this season. Go ahead. Figure out like a mindset to have that like, when you focus on the past, that's your ego. I did this. And when I focus on the future, it's my pride. Like, yeah, next game, game five, I do this and this and this. Right. You know, I'm going down. That's your pride talking. Like, you, it doesn't happen. Like, you're right here. And um, I kind of, like, try to focus in the, you know, in the moment, in the present. And that's humility. That's being humble. That's not setting no expectation. Good. We're going to live by that. We're going to roll with that this year as we go. And I'm going to hold all of us to that, coaches included. A reconstituted coaching staff punctuated the offseason. But the biggest change moved nine-year assistant Sean Desai into a prominent role as defensive coordinator. How about the, the chicken, the vegan, vegan uh, chicken yesterday? Chicken parm was good. You have that yesterday, Justin, the vegan chicken parm? I didn't see it. Told me it, there, I didn't it was pretty good. Yeah. How long you been vegan? Oh, really? It's new? Why? Morals, personal, or just lifestyle? Yeah, me too. Patrick, great to see you, man. Yeah, I'm good day to see you. What's the wrist tape for? Nah, sweat. Oh, really? So You're a big sweat guy? Like I've never seen That's a good tip, though. Yeah, it's, it's just the power flex stuff. It's just like the sweat. Yeah, that's a good idea. Why don't you go with the Rambo look like Cole? Uh, Donatello? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask him which one he is. Yeah, right? Everybody liked Michelangelo, right? He was the cool one. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. he the cool one? That was like Donatello. He had the staff. He was the, the purple one, right? Yeah. yeah. It's my son's favorite color. I'm super interested to see what today looks like. 
Hey guys, just giving a five minute warning until gates open. We have a five minute warning until gates open. We're usually here about 5 a.m. and then our internal staff usually gets out of here anywhere between 8 and 10 p.m., which is pretty typical for training camp. I think so far it's not bad, but those sandwich boards, probably all of them are so thin, yeah, they're probably not gonna make it through camp. Yeah, I agree. When we walk in every day, we take a look and say like, are people gonna understand what they're doing and where they're going? And I will say every day we come up with a new idea to kind of tweak that to make it easier and easier for people. I know, part of me wants like a big countdown clock. Ooh, maybe we do do that. Ooh, I'm gonna get people. Can you get a ball? A football? Like a giant inflatable football? All right guys, go ahead, start scanning. Gates are open, I repeat, gates are open. We have a solid group, you know. I'm a great mix of veterans and young guys, and we all get along, man. It's, you know, we're all pulling for each other. I think we all complement each other very well, and, and you know, we're excited about the possibilities of, of the season and, and, you know, what we can do collectively as a group. Take that photo over. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> All right, who wants a picture with Cole? You can get a $5 credit box of fines if you actually pose for a picture with Cole. All right, we got fines today? Anybody go? It's a very expensive day for Cole Komet. This was a, a, a pretty good period, I'm not sure. Uh, Goldsberry has the numbers for us. I think we were at 75% at conversion on the day overall, which is pretty good. I like the hands right here, commit good shove as, as he tries to swim and you shove it off. So a nice job right here. Once you separate, then you take in the slack, try to get up on, on his body some, right? Just to give him less room to operate. He's doing a nice job with his hands, trying to keep your hands away from you. Bam. Good strong hands. All right, Scooter, blocking the guy with one hand. It's pretty impressive. I really think that you're just trying to show, hey, Clance, look, I, I, I have my hand to his, to his inside shoulder, right? That's, that's pretty good. And strongest guy in the world right there, Scoot. <laughs> Good work. Who needs two hands if your scooter? Mm -hmm. Just block them with one. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting pretty fired up right here myself. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. You've got a picture of him. Penn State, 280, double knee brace. <laughs> double knee brace. Oh, oh, yeah. Brace. He's a Snickers away from being a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, it is. That's close. <laughs> double Don Joyce. Got is that right? Now, is that is that by choice or you guys no, have to? It's forced. <laughs> How are you not tapped? It blows my mind. Not like it. the fact they didn't make you no one is crazy. They wanted to. I was I was just the fastest tight end there too. Opportunities yeah. lost. Coach, they got ten minutes to be out there. To be on the field. Yeah. All right, guys. Ready, break. See you out there. Damn. Damn. If they feel okay? Right. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah? No, no, so far, so We good. didn't have any blowouts or anything out there? Everything good? Uh, pretty pretty tame? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. So far, so good. Yeah. A long way to go, but, yeah. you know, Matt's told me a few times. He's, you know, very happy, so. Good. The word I would use for this whole process is balance. We're trying to get collectively the best solution, and we know that it's new. This is the first year here. There's going to be compromises by everybody. Every group's going to have to be a little bit flexible. Some of the blocking sleds have been shifted around the fields. So even from a coaching standpoint, you know, they're being flexible. So I'm really proud of the, the resiliency of the team. Good? OK. Knock on wood, everything's good. OK. Whoa! Pick that off! Pick that off now! Pick that off! Is that pick? That's a pick. Come on. Come on. Get it in here, Calitro. Don't throw that ball back. It's going to be under review. The calling card of great defenses is taking the ball away. Emphatically pleading for picks and punch outs, the size turnover bucket is an ever present reward for the defense, a symbolic reminder to aggressively attack with a punctuating dunk.
I'll take that. I'll take that. Look at Sean with the bucket. Sean with the bucket. Turn it up! Yeah! <laughs> that was a little fun! That's that Shaq. Break the glass! <laughs> A couple of more, uh, a couple more reps today, right? So make sure we take care of our body. Uh, we put our pads on tomorrow. All this stuff is cool, but the pads is what separates you. All right? Make sure we're in good footwork, good placement. All right, we can thud tomorrow. It's always about us. DBs on three. One, two, three. DBs. Tuesday was a day of firsts. As the team prepares for their first padded practice, the fans prepare for their first visit to Soldier Field since the 2019 season. It also marked the first time in pads for newcomer Marquise Goodwin since November of 2019 with San Francisco. The speedster opted out last season and is healthy and ready to get back to work. Always. Huh? Hey, I was born two months premature. I was ready before my time. That's crazy, huh? I feel being back in the stadium. Always. It feels better with fans, bro. Last year, it was weak. Yeah. I need the fans. I need that juice. Yeah, always. You ain't ever got to ask if I'm good. I had, to, I had to change my call in the first play of practice. Why? Dude, I ain't, I ain't trying to get beat on a deep ball by you right Come now. Come on, man. That's how we get better. I got enough stress. <laughs> <laughs> I give you a shot, though. <laughs> Make a play, dog. One four, where you at? Hey. Hey, great work today. First day of Soldier Field. Put on a show for the fans. It's awesome. Bears on three. One, two, three. Bears. Oh, man. Just prep, man. Getting ready to perform. With the dog days of camp in full swing, players look for ways to unwind off the field. Music is my getaway from football. Everybody needs their mental breaks. That's when I go to music. When I was younger, I grew up in church and I was always around music. I love music. I love singing instruments, drums, and I um, I started off on the drums, then I picked up the keyboard a little bit, then I learned, I got better and better as I grew. When my dad got the program Pro Tools, I used to get on his laptop and play around with it, you know, get the mic and try to sing a little bit on it. Then I pretty much went on YouTube to see how to learn and it pretty much became simple for me to make beats. This is one tune that came to me and what really came to me first was the bass line. I was playing around with different sounds, trying to see something. It's, it's more of like a, a bungo-y type bass, but what I do is um, like I kind of chopped it up and made it into a, a little bass line. And um, so I just play around. And this is what I came up with. I feel like we all have gifts that God give us. 
And um, that's just one of my gifts, being able to uh, understand music without ever having lessons, you know, doing everything by ear. So it was a miracle, honestly, in itself. While the team strives for excellence on the field, 350 miles to the east, excellence is recognized in Ohio. Eighty-five Bear Jimbo Culver, widely considered the greatest left tackle in team history, finally gets his bust in Canton after being drafted by the Bears nearly four decades ago. When I first got to the Bears in 1983, we weren't a very good football team. One of my first meetings, Mike Dicka said, I got good news and bad news. Good news is we're going to the Super Bowl. Bad news is half you guys won't be there when we do. But he pushed us hard, but I also believe he reestablished the pride back into the Bears organization. That playing in the NFL is a privilege and not a right. And that when you pull that Bears jersey over your pads and put on that helmet with that C on the side, it means something special. So we know we have buses for the Dolphins arriving at 8.15 and 8.45 they're leaving. So the one thing we just need to make sure, like, so if this is the bus map, right? So we know we're going to put them in the loading dock and we're going to put seven and eight along the, along the street here. We just got to make sure that the player shuttles come around. Having the Dolphins here probably was six months in the making. If you can control that 99%, so all the planning, all the uh, you know meetings and focus on just making sure that the execution's right, everything will take care of itself. Uh, we got a severe thunderstorm watch out until 1, 8, 1 p.m. for here now. They just posted that. Man, so I mean, it looks can. like it's gonna like in like the Elgin area start going down. So we got time. We got some time, but it's hard to save. Good to see you, man. You doing all right? Everyone goes this yeah, way. Yeah, we're going to go this way. We'll walk it. Field four is the far field. And just know there's potential of weather. So I'll keep you updated. Appreciate all your help. Yeah. Again, you're phenomenal. That's why we're told, here. Um, I just told Kyle, no one better in the league. <laughs> These clouds moving out. Hey, don't kick us out yet. Let's get a little taste of it. I got like literally like three apps and I have the uh, the one on top of the building here that is alerting me when things are like this, so I'm just overly cautious. Oh no. No. Oh, the damn warming up we just did. Due to possible rain and lightning approaching the area, we ask that all fans make their way to the Walter Payton Center to shelter in place. Hey! Y'all know the day is, bro. We're gonna be fast, physical, and disciplined, bro. Let's go out and do what we do best, bro. That's compete, bro. We wanna make a play, we all make a play. Let's go. DB's on three! One, two, three! DB! We working. Good team. Bears up three. One, two, three. Bears. Bears.
beautiful afternoon for football here at Soldier Field. Good to see the fans back in here. I know they're ribbed up, Tommy. So am I. I mean, the, the emotional support that the fans lend, whether it's preseason or regular season, they have a huge role in the NFL. Snap back, Andy Dalton with protection. Throws an open man to the 16-yard line. Right up the numbers, 20-25. Pocket holds to the middle of the end zone. Intercepted DHC. Has the pick running it out to the 10. He leaves the pocket. Ejects left to the 10, to the 5. Bulls into the end zone for the touchdown. Everything picked up. Wide open. Jesse James at the 5. Just backs into the end zone. Leisurely. Touchdown. Touchdown, Bears. Rifles it over the middle and the catch is oh. made. The ball comes up. Ball's on the ground. Scooped up by the Bears. And they've got it at the 25-yard line of Chicago. That environment that we just hit in that first preseason game with those fans, we just want to say thank you, man. That, that, that was awesome. The, the biggest thing for, for us as coaches and for the guys in there as players is the, there's opportunities for competition. It allows us to go through a game situation and do the things that sometimes you forget to do when you don't have preseason. So the logistics of all that I thought went well. And in the end, ultimately, you love winning. And uh, I'm proud of our guys, and now we get right back at it in a couple of days.